Hello, and welcome to the Big One class. In the cryptocurrency world, the term ERC-20 is frequently used to refer to a standard protocol on Ethereum. Aside from the ERC-20 protocol, the best-known Ethereum protocol is ERC-721. Many people have no idea what these two protocols are, or how to tell them apart, despite having heard of them. Let's look at the difference between ERC-20 and ERC-721 today. What are ERC-20 and ERC-721? ERC-20 The most well-known standard is ERC-20. In the ERC-20 standard, there is no difference in value, and tokens are interchangeable. Simply put, everyone's money is essentially the same under the ERC-20 standard. Tokens must have a name, a symbol, a total supply, and other functions such as transfer and remittance. According to the ERC-20 standard, this standard is advantageous because it is compatible with Ethereum wallets as long as the token adheres to the ERC-20 standard. That is, you can add this token to your Ethereum wallet and use it to send it to others. It is also straightforward to issue tokens due to the existence of the ERC-20 standard. On Ethereum, the number of ERC-20 tokens currently exceeds 180,000. ERC-721 why should there be an additional ERC-721 standard when ERC-20 is so powerful? As previously stated, the ERC-20 standard token has no intrinsic monetary value. This is no longer true for some assets that require unique properties, such as NFTs. According to the ERC-721 standard, each token that complies with this standard must have a unique token ID. Each token in the ERC-721 standard is distinct. That is, according to the ERC-721 standard, your money is distinct from other people's money. How to differentiate ERC-20 from ERC-721? Let's take a look at an example. There are 100 virtual pet cats in any blockchain-based virtual pet application. Suppose the token of this virtual pet application is developed according to the ERC-20 standard. In that case, the 100 virtual pet cats are the same, and the token of the cat can be divided. For example, if it is divided into 10 parts, then each part is 0.1 token. However, if the token of this virtual pet application is built on the ERC-721 standard, your virtual pet cat will be unique, as the ID of each virtual pet cat will be different. And the virtual cat as a whole is indivisible and one of a kind. We can see two differences between ERC-20 token and ERC-721 tokens from this example. First, tokens based on the ERC-20 standard have no value distinction and are interchangeable. Whereas tokens based on the ERC-721 standard are not interchangeable. And each token has a unique ID. Second, ERC-20 tokens can be divided. Whereas ERC-721 tokens cannot. Today's Big One class concludes here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.